Hello all. My name is Dr. Shailesh Bhurke, Associate Professor, Chemical Engineering Department. Dr. D.Y. Patil, Institute of Engineering Management and Research, Akkurdi, Pune. Today, I'm going to talk about plastic waste management. Details of week one video and week two video are given here. In week one, a short video was prepared about the effect of pesticides on water resources. In week two, a short video about the air pollution law and standard in India was depicted. It also covered the variety of functions of Central Pollution Control Board in India. Today, I'm going to talk about the plastic waste management. Before that, the outcomes of previous videos. Learners will be able to understand the effect of pesticides as a result of surface runoffs on the water resources and environment. Learners will be able to estimate the degree of agglomeration of pollutant along the food chain. Learners will be able to estimate the quality of ambient air as per the standards given by the Central Pollution Control Board of India. Starting with our today's topic about plastic waste management, let us see about the introduction about this plastic waste in India. The first commercial plastic was utilized in the year 1920, about 100 years ago. This development of this first plastic has now taken a very big shape into the commercial and domestic market wherein everything will be covered as a form of plastic products. Now, this plastic has made itself as a part of replacing the other materials, for example, wood, leather, paper, metal, glass, you just name it. However, the use of this plastic has made the environment so uh, harmful that this wonder material which was utilized as a form of novelty of itself is now turning to give some serious environmental problem in the world. The major impact of this serious environmental product uh, problem is just because of one very disadvantageous thing, characteristic thing for this practical, this plastic is non-biodegradability of this plastic into the nature. Therefore, careless disposal of this plastic bags has been able to produce some choked drains, block of the porosity of the soil, and it is in turn creating causes, creating problems for the groundwater recharges. Now, what are the different ways of reducing this plastic waste? Is the best method is source reduction that is stopping it from the source only there are different ways of doing so first is modifying the design of product or package to decrease the amount of material used second utilize economies of scale with larger size packages third utilize economies of scale with product concentrates next make material more durable so that it may be reused by the consumer and the finally is substitute away from the toxic constituent in the product or packaging. The potential plastic markets that may be considered for source reduction include packaging, building and construction, consumer products, electrical and electronic field, furniture and furnishings, transportation, adhesives, links and coatings and so on. Now we will be seeing, thinking over the recycling option of this plastic. In India, we rank the highest in terms of plastic recycling, that is the 60% of plastic is being recycled. And in the world, it is however averaging 20% only. So what are the different methods available for this recycling? Are primary recycling wherein collecting the plastic, melting it, molding it and solidifying it into some of the form where it can be utilized. Second method is melting and using 
extrusion or injection molding machines so that the melted plastic can be converted into some or the other form of or product third tertiary recycling wherein depending on the physical and chemical methods utilizing them as a form of thermolysis this thermolysis include pyrolysis catalytic cracking hydro cracking etc or one more option called depolymerization wherein alcoholysis hydrolysis acidolysis aminolysis these kind of reactions are being utilized as a form of chemical method to recycle the plastic into different products and last and the final method is quaternary recycling wherein incineration is utilized to recover the energy after this we will now see the next option called degradable plastics degradable the name says that it can be degraded into some natural product wherein it can be used or it can be degraded as a form of organic products so the bio bioplastics and are biodegradable plastics whose components are derived from renewable raw materials these plastics can be made from abundant agricultural or animal sources like cellulose starch collagen casein soya protein polyesters and triglycerides after this the large scale use of these would help in preserving non renewable sources like petroleum natural gas and coal and contribute little to the problem of waste management biodegradable degradable plastics degrade over a period of time when it is exposed to the sun and air let us now see the types of plastic degradation processes photo degradation as the name says it is using the photo or sunlight for the degradation biodegradable again as the name suggests use of microorganisms such as bacteria yeast fungi and algae these can be used for biodegradation then next is biodeterioration in this the degradation of plastic occurs through the action of microorganisms such as beetles sludge microbial sludge or etc then next methodology says auto oxidation here in the degradation can be caused by chemical reaction with oxygen next methodology is hydrolysis degradation that occurs when water cleaves the backbone of the polymer resulting in decrease in the molecular weight and a loss of physical property and the last method that is method, that is solubilization as the name suggests the polymers that occur when a water soluble link is included into the polymer the plastic can be degraded now what happens is there is a substantial demand of biodegradability then then when we say this though the demand for biodegradable plastic is increasing acceptance of biodegradable polymer is likely to depend on following factors first is customers response to the cost because the biodegradable plastics need to be catered in such a way that they can be uh, degradable so the cost of the manufacturing increases next is possible possible legislation by government whether the local or central government authorize the manufacturing of such kind of plastic is again a key question and third is the achievement of total biodegradability that means even though the biodegradable plastic is being manufactured whether it is actually getting degraded into the atmosphere after certain period of time that also you know, creates one or the other question in utilization of this biodegradable plastic so the demand of biodegradable plastic would may tremendously depend on by the customer response legislation and the degradability accept uh, aspects of the by uh, this biodegradable plastic so the in this uh, degradable plastic what we can do is immediate application areas identify are identify are identified in india for agricultural then surgical then plastic implants and personal care and so on wherein it can be utilized however 
the legal for framework for the utilization of biodegradable materials is still very unclear so within waste management local authorities in many parts of the world including india don't treat bioplastic as combustible material so the care must be taken in making this biodegradable plastic so in our today's session what we have seen was the use of biodegradable plastic why biodegradable plastic has been utilized and how we can go in for more utilization of biodegradable plastic this is what we have studied in our today's session thank you so much